Hello everybody. I finished up another terrain piece for my bolt action Normandy table. Uh, this particular piece is a uh, resin building from uh, Total Battle Miniatures, the church itself. The walls are resin walls from Novus Design Studio. Um, the little statue over here also is from Total Battle Miniatures, uh, purchased separate from the church. Uh, the gravestones that you can see in the back there are Renedra. And um, I made this piece so that everything could be removed and used separately. The church lifts off of the base. Uh, the statue lifts off. The gravestones are all magnetized so that, uh, so that they can be put two magnets on the base of there so they can be removed or switched around. Uh, the trees, there's a tree in each corner, uh, the rear two corners, which we'll see when I re rotate it around. Uh, they are also removable. So that I kind of did that so that I could use it with the scenic base or without. Um, and, and also all of the thing, items that you put into that scenic base weren't uh, tied to just being used if you used this particular base with this. So uh, that's why I was trying to be a little efficient with the uh, different components that I used. So anyway, I think we'll quickly just do a little rotation so that you can get kind of a look at it. Uh, I had so much fun putting this piece together. Um, it was uh, kind of a culmination of a lot of the different things I've learned over the last five years, um, making terrain for my Normandy table. And uh, um, I think you can see them a little bit here as they're coming around. These two bushes here and here, and there's a couple on the front. They're made out of twine string that I put a dab of glue on one end of the twine string uh, on a piece that's, uh, you know, inch to inch and a half long. Wait for the glue to dry and then cut it right below that glue so that glue would hold that together. And then teased out the fibers and then spray painted those fibers brown to give your wood substructure. And then used uh, some, um, some different leaf flocking. Uh, to give the uh, leafy structure of the of the uh, bush or plant, um, these ivy in front here um, I got from uh, Scenic Express, and as well as these little bushes down in the front here. Uh, here's one of the trees that I mentioned. Like I said, it's on a washer, um, but I used milliput to make a little recess receptacle for it to sit in. I got the trees also not only to use them for uh, off of the base but also it'd be nice because you could swap different trees in and out. If you wanted to put a flowering tree in there or a larger tree or um, also if you wanted to you know place your soldiers down in the corner along the wall there um, you don't have to fight with the tree and so that was kind of the thought there. Um, same for this tree you could put a bigger or smaller tree if you wanted. Uh, another one of those shrubs that I got from uh, Scenic Express. I uh, can't say enough about the detail of the uh, Total Battle Miniatures buildings. They're just, they're incredible. Um, they're just, uh, the detail, the, the uh, interest, the, the quality, um, to me is well worth the, the price that you pay. But... I do enjoy making the scenery, so or the terrain. Uh, also, uh, the the resin walls, uh, Novus Design Studio. Uh, they're located in the United States. Uh, I think they're in the Boulder or Fort Collins area. I forget which town they're from, but uh, great people to work with. Um, this particular wall set was just added to their catalog within the last year and a half, I believe, and. Um, they come pre-painted and pre-flocked. I contacted them to see if I could get it uh, just plain resin so that I could paint and flock the way I wanted. He said no problem and uh, he even included the base, a, a, a bag of flock that he would have included or used when he would have made uh, uh, done it uh, so, that, uh, so that I could use it if I wanted. So that was kind of nice. Um, so that is kind of a look at the outside of the church there. Um, I'll try to take this off, try not to get too much shaky cam here. 
and try to give you a little bit closer look um, and a little different perspective here. Take a little closer look at some of those uh, bushes on each side of the door that I made from scratch as well as these couple on this side here. Most of the flocking, I used a variety of textures and colors of flock. The flock is mostly woodland scenics. Um, uh, the, if somebody's interested, I can look to see what the particular um, like IV that I used. Um, I got that from Scenic Express. I remember that, but I can't remember the manufacturer. They carry quite a range of pro products. The uh, pathway is made from DOS clay. That I rolled out and then used a green stuff roller to get the cobblestone look. Um, this gravestone's in the corner. That one that's laying flat is glued down, but the other one that's cracked there uh, is also magnetized so it can be removed. Again, for getting troops in, or as we see back over in this corner, if uh, you know that tree comes out so that you can get your guys in there, or if somebody would set up an artillery piece in the corner there. That's the other reason I made all the, the gravestones magnetized and removable uh, so that you could just set the, the tillery piece in there without, uh, you know, get it where you'd actually want it to be uh, to make it a little bit more playable. Then coming around onto this side there is a, that hedge there, that bush is um, made from rubberized horse hair, teased out, painted, and then... Uh, I used some uh, medium, or is it coarse flock, I believe, from Woodland Scenics, along with some flower um, uh, flower flocking that they offer. Uh, the rubble pile there I made from, uh, I used some foam core that I make into steps. I think there's about three steps there that um, to give it the substructure. And then I use... Um, the fine, medium, and coarse ballast from Woodland Scenics to get the different textures, and then uh, and along with some sand, and mix that all in. Um, I don't mix it together. I cover that, that substructure in glue. The, um, um, the the foam core step substructure I make, and then pour it on top, and then used watered down uh, glue to finally seal it. And then I, there's a few pieces of. Of wood and stuff to kind of, and then paint it to match the piece and like I said the church lifts out of there also so I made that so it fits pretty tight um, again so I can use the church for other purposes if I want okay and then uh, yeah I had a lot of fun working on the the roof trying to make it look like um, some uh, weathered slate tiles uh, and then maybe like an old lead roof um, piece there uh, on the top of the steeple there, so yeah, a lot of fun messing with a lot of the different, and it's all all done just with uh, uh, water-based paints and a few washes, um, nothing too complicated. And then, as we'll show you up here, um, the steeple does come off, and you get the detail on the inside. Place for a sniper to be, perhaps. And then the entire roof does lift off for the detailed interior. And uh, that, they just make that, they're so, so much fun to paint. I mean, look at the detail of the paving stones, uh, the wood grain, the paneling along the back there. And then um, they also, the rubble pile there on the inside is actually sculpted, sculpted in. Uh, to the piece, so it comes like that, and I'll rotate just just a tiny bit around here, so we can have a look at the other side of the inside. And there you've got the other side again, paneling um, come in through the entryway and up the stairs to get yourself up into the the bell tower. You've got the door. Just all the detail. I mean, the door has a doorknob. There's on the outside of the church, you can see the downspout in the corner there. Um, I mean, just the detail that they put into to these pieces when they make them is just amazing. This does lift out, which helped make it easier to paint, and then also is nice for uh, 
if you'd want to put more troops in there or change the way you use the piece there. So anyway, um, just wanted to share that. I was uh, pretty happy with how that came out. And I was kind of happy too with the, the way I was able to make it um, very modular uh, in the sense of being able to remove, you know, the different pieces so that they can be either swapped out or used, um, sorry, or used for different, uh, different terrain pieces. But uh, yeah, so there, there it is, guys. I'm happy with how that turned out. Um, if you got any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, all that uh, is fresh in my mind on the products I used. I know I'll try to put a link in the description for Total Battle Miniatures, Novus Design Studio, and Scenic Express. I highly recommend um, all of those different places there. Um, so, and then in the background there, you can see uh, uh, several others of the Total Battle Mentor pieces that I've done. So, I got six of them all together in that order, and I've got all six of them now done. And uh, so, I'm kind of getting the finishing touches on my Normandy table before I move on to um, move on to a new project, which you'll be seeing seeing soon so anyway hope you found that interesting or mildly entertaining and uh, appreciate appreciate you watching feel free to comment if you got any questions i'll try to answer them and um we'll talk to you again soon until then take care of yourselves and each other